Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we were able to get the band back together to help Mayor Pauline throw off a pretty amazing city celebration. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're ready to have some fun and rock out to some great music, if you could like the video, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the festival. Let's do it. This is probably one of the biggest set pieces in the game. So let's have some fun. A traditional festival. This entire video is going to be all about a party. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the oh yeah. City festival, a celebration of the history of our city. And now, to get things... Kind of perfect considering this video is going to be going up on the 4th of July. Scat from Pauline. Okay. Well, yeah, this is uh, gonna be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and uh, enjoy ourselves. They rolled out the red carpet for us. There's a whole lot going on here, so take your time and enjoy yourself. It's kind of nice to do a little bit of a throwback to. The old Danky Kangs from back in the day, huh? The nice vocals in the background that I'm obviously ruining, <laughs> ruining by my poor performance and also uh, talking over Pauline singing. Don't mind me. She'll be our one up girl. Do you have any one-up girls and gals that you know of viewers, huh? You got that in your life? Hopefully you do. Wee! What are we, Sonic? I wonder if there's anything down here. Can we jump down here? I don't think so. I'm breaking up the ambience of this, <laughs> of this moment with my nonsense. All right. Wee! Viewers, we're having fun! I think these are just all about coins and... The commerce of the city. Look at our big GDP. I believe this entire... Um, this entire gimmick, I think, is almost exclusively in 2D. And that's just obviously, like I said, to replicate kind of the old Donkey Kong feel. It is New Donk City, after all. She just played... Classic Donkey Kong the other day with some friends at an arcade. That was good. Look at this big DK. Let me all love, love a nice big. DK. All right. Yeah, I believe there's nothing really special about collecting the coins. Obviously, if you need them, then this will be good for you in the future. There are some things from Crazy Cap that can only be bought with a large amount of coins, but I'm not super worried about that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this big old eight. Boom! Take that. If I could, there we go. Ooh, yeah. Knocked him out. It looks like we made it to the party. Woo, everybody's having a good time. Hooray, happiness. The new Donk City Festival, there it is. Mario's having a good time. No talking, Pauline. We need help. Oh my gosh, the multi-moon! Pauline, you're so generous! I'm not sure if Mario's looking at her or the moon. <laughs> but we did it, viewers! For some reason, I remember that being a lot longer than, like, four minutes. But maybe it's not. But we did it! Okay. Well, that was fun! We can jet back to the Odyssey, I think. We've had plenty of fun here in New Donk City. More than enough moons to, of course, move on to the next kingdom. We needed 20 and we, of course, under-promised and over-delivered. The multi-moon from Polly, of course, was just an extra little boost. All right. Wow, we actually got 32. Pretty good. I'm not sure how many moons you need to beat this game, but I know that 117 
is probably more than is required at this point in the game. Looks like we're going to New Zealand. A bit of a proverbial fork in the road. Which kingdom do we want? Do you think Bowser went to the Snow Kingdom or the Seaside Kingdom? Well, last time we went topside, so we're gonna go to the bottom this one. Seaside Kingdom it is. You know what? It's summertime, so why not have a little bit of fun in the sun? Here we go. Yeah, for some reason, I don't know, you know, going back to what I was just saying, that little set piece with the, the festival, I probably could have included that at the end of the last episode. I thought that it was going to be longer and more profound than that, but whatever. It's always good to start off an episode with a bang. So from the festival to the vacation, here we go. Let's see what... Uh, Arbitrary tips and tricks Cappy has for us. The wall jump. Oh, wow. That's a blast from the past. Thanks, Cappy. Let's read up on the Seaside Kingdom. Why not? Carbonated sea that's supposed to be quite nice. It says here to be sure to visit the four giant fountains. Hmm. Maybe a little bubbly. We're going to go for a little dip. Why not? Huh. Oh, this looks pleasant, except for that thing up there. Huh. We're not quite in the right attire. But it does appear that the glass is half empty, unfortunately. Somebody's having a... No shortage of sucking up there. Oh, look at these snails. The escort go ahead, berets. <laughs> Bub Lane used to be a beautiful resort. Oh no, somebody's drinking all the sparkle water. What a jerk, all right, well, let's uh, go ahead and, nope, wrong button again. I, every time viewers, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. We are in the seaside kingdom where the sea meets the sun. This is Bub Lane. It's a relaxing resort by the carbonated sea. The size is wide, okay. The currency is shell shaped. The industry is, of course, that sparkling water, and it's pretty warm. Nice 88 degrees. So there you go. I'll let you take a moment to read these if you'd like to. Behold the power of carbonation and high fructose corn syrup. Okay. Nature's fire hoses. These unusual creatures collect seawater. They can use it to defend themselves and to propel themselves straight up. So these four fountains are the ones that are marked in the map. Obviously, we're going to need to take care of those eventually. It looks like the Crazy Cap store. It's in the northeast where we can go and get a new outfit. But uh, once again, more to read if you're interested. The eels from Mario 64 have made a return. Watch out for those. Nature's hot tub. Nice hot spring. I've always wanted to visit a hot spring. Heard that they're pretty neat. And uh, once again, this is kind of the follow-up to the jump rope competition from New Donk. You can play some volleyball. And it makes me think of back in the day, I was a really big fan of um, Mario Party 4 for the GameCube. That was kind of the first one that I really sunk my teeth into. And there's a volleyball game in there that I really loved, and I would get really competitive with my friends. All right, here we go. The three keys to the kingdom. Gasp at the sight of all four fountains spraying into the glass tower. Refresh yourself with the fizzy delights of Bablanian seawater and play in the action-packed beach volleyball tournament. There you go. Looks like uh, we've got our sights set on some fun things to do, of course. We're going to do some exploring and see what's around. Oh, no beach volleyball. Well, that's a pain in the buns. How could you? Seems like that monster up there is preventing us from being able to participate in fun athletic activities. We can't go in there, of course, because we need to be wearing the right attire. Of course. I'm just gonna keep wandering around. This looks like fun. Oh yeah, let's do this. Wee! Oh, I just missed like 90% of them. Viewers, let's try that again. 
Looks like you need to follow the straight and narrow for that one. If you veer off course, you are not getting that one. We'll try it one more time. And by that, I mean as many times as it takes me to get it that are reasonable. All right, here we go. Try again. Oh boy, I'm already crooked. Come on, hang in there. Yes! And conveniently, they decided to put the moon where you're headed instead of where you've come from. I appreciate that. Thank you, Seaside Kingdom. The ocean surface dash. Let's get off these cookies over here. I have a little bit of familiarity with this kingdom. I don't really remember doing a lot with it. I mean, obviously, whatever the required story arc is, you do that for sure. For sure. That's what I said. Um, but beyond that, you know, I don't have any sort of fondness of what's going on. So I'm just going to, you know, we're just going to take our time. We're on vacation, viewers. Kick back and relax. It's summertime. Enjoy yourselves. Put on your swim trunks and your flippy floppies. First dive down into this underwater tunnel. Ooh, there's coins that I somehow missed. I didn't see these. We will do that. Let's go climb the lighthouse. I wonder if there is a seasick electric giraffe in there, perhaps. Deep cut all the way back to 2000. Whee! All right. Hopefully we have enough um, oxygen to do this. Ooh, we can get a cheap cheap. Yes. I imagine there's probably some fun things we can do with these boys. Yeah, let's do it. It's been a while. We've already technically done an underwater kingdom with the lakeside kingdom, but I wasn't really feeling too frosty today. Whoa. And just it just felt right. That actually was sparkly. Why are you sparkly? What do I do with you? Oops, I didn't mean to do... Oh, is it just air? Oh. Well, that's like, I don't know, super not fun or cool. The game does give you a pretty good tell on um, where the eels will be popping out of. I don't know if any of that is of value to know for like a moon? That's hiding amidst the... Yeah, this is gonna bite me in the buns. Oh no. I gotta hurry up and get to the other side. Or we are going to be toast. I think I'm probably toast anyway, no matter what, because... Yeah, I think a cheap cheap is pretty required for this juncture. All right. Lesson learned, I got... I got bit by the shiny. Leave it to me and my small brain to, of course, get preoccupied. We can also swim a lot faster with the cheap cheap, of course, so. It's more fun, it's cuter. And because we are a fish, we don't need, oops. We don't need uh, to change the camera angle. Because we're a fish, we don't, uh, we don't have to worry about oxygen, so. Which actually, I mean, is not true, like, you know, fish, are able to pull oxygen out of the water to their gills, so. Look at this guy, he's like, Bleh. But something, uh, here's a little fun fact for you viewers, is that fish and fishes in certain um, circumstances are both grammatically correct. So fish usually refers to singularly and plurally a group of the same type so if you had an aquarium that had a bunch of gold fish in it, you would say, these are a bunch of fish. However, if you had an aquarium that had a bunch of different types of species, you would say fishes. So there you go. All right, looks like we got the lighthouse moon. Don't break the seal. All right. So far, so good today. Time to advance the story and pop the top. Oh, no, we did break the seal. Oh, boy. We're going to be spending the rest of the time in this episode holding it. Let's slap that button. Boop. Uh-oh. Enjoy the concussion. Ooh-wee. Try all you want. I'll never. Ooh. What have we done? 
It's got a bit of a hot head. Let's hop to it. If you say so, Cappy. Whee! We can continue to explore around. I don't know if I'll be able to uncork the all three fountains today, the remainder. I don't know if I want to, possibly just because, possibly, just because I'm trying to pace this out a little bit. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I would like to try to gather up enough of these shell-shaped coins in order to buy a new outfit. We have to fit in. We do want to, of course, try to blend in with the locals, if you know what I'm saying. Looks like Dory over here. Is that what this thing's called? Nessie, Dory, Lassie? I don't know. But I do want its moon under its belly. Oh, it's Dory. I was right. Finding Dory. Done. So this is actually the crazy cap. It's on the back of Dory. So we'll come back to that eventually, of course. We'll also enjoy one of the more fun captures in this game is these little guys. This is a gimmick that you'll have to get used to. So these guys will allow you to get rid of the hot lava. Whee! You'll need to um, get pretty comfortable with this because this is a gimmick that will be used for pretty much the remainder of um, pretty much the remainder of of this area. So spoilers, the guy that we saw who's been drinking up all the soda pop, he is a um, that's a boss, and so you will need to. Oops, I thought I was clearing up by hitting the button. Um, you'll need to get pretty good at that, where you will uh, be doing battle with him via these guys so just practice with it it's not it's not too bad it's kind of an awkward thing to do but you know what it's not it's not so bad there's a moon down there it's a little cumbersome especially with the way that i'm doing it but i'm doing this because i'm trying to specifically cover this uncover this area Woo! the hot spring seal i don't know why everything's a seal though so many kisses from roses all right that appears to be the secondary fountain. And I'm assuming that's, it answers my question right away. Why are there so many seals? There's exactly four of them. Oops, did not mean to do that, but that's okay. There's more coins under here. I do actually want to go and grab the outfit. As long as Dory is in the immediate vicinity, if not, I don't care. Let's see, is there anything under here? I do remember the moons in this kingdom if my memory serves, which rarely does it do. Um, I remember them being a little trickier to find. This one, I don't have a ton of, uh, ton of memory for the different moons of the, oops, just ran right into you. A ton of memory for the moons in this area. Whee! Let's just climb this long shaft. Oop! Okay, more coins. I don't know how many you need for the outfit. I want to say probably somewhere in the ballpark of 20 to 30. Also, Mario's big old fat air cheeks. Ugh. We like it. We love it. We got to have more of it. Oh, no, I'm being chased by go. Stay away from me. Imagine how much less fun it would be to swim or do anything if you had creatures like that, which I mean, like, Mario's not a tall dude. Like, let's be real. Mario is probably, like, in the low five feet, if anything. And, um, those things are, like, twice his height. So the idea of that, to me, is kind of terrifying, if I'm being completely honest. All right, let's talk to the Sphinx here real quick. Can we do that as a fish? Don't think that it wants to talk to us. Okay, maybe as a human, um, prejudice. Greetings, traveler, into your hat. Can you answer the riddle? 
This is, of course, a Blaine. Mission accomplished. Viewers, we've done it. One of the trickiest puzzles in the game. And time for a bonus. Which I guess is just this. Okay, that was way more um, kind of mundane than I thought it was going to be. Apologies, I thought that was actually going to be something to do. If you remember back when we were in Toast Arena, we were actually able to go into the Sphinx's behind and uncover all kinds of otherworldly treasures. Honestly, I think life would be better if people could just go into other people's behinds and find treasure. One man's trash is another man's... Okay. So, we have five more moons to go. I don't know if I'm going to get all five of them here in this episode just because we might be running a little bit shorter on time and I try to keep these episodes manageable. How do we feel about the episode length, viewers? Do you like the kind of 25 to 30 minute range? I feel like that's kind of fair. Oops, we need to try to breathe. Oops, not paying any attention. Sorry, Mario. Forgot that you are an air-breathing creature. Yeah, I've been trying to keep the episodes roughly that length. Um, it just kind of makes sense to me. I think that you can accomplish quite a bit in a half an hour. And it's, you know, I, I think of it as what would I want to watch? Like if I was, you know, beyond being a content creator like I am, if I'm a content absorber, you know, what would I want to see? Also, this is pretty neat. Um, this is a nice 2D, 3D take that you get where you have obviously the, the stuff that's going on above you, but then there's also stuff that's going on in front of you as well. So it's kind of a nice little twist and you'll need to uncover various parts of this in order to progress. I don't know how much of this is all bridge building or not. And I feel like at some point we're gonna need to get a shell down there. I feel like this is the most you can do here. But yeah, this kingdom is a little more elaborate. This is when the game starts to kind of get you into the middle section of exploring and checking things out. Where are we? Okay. This just looks like coins. I don't want to get two of my head of myself here and knock out my way forward. I don't think this goes anywhere left or right. But you can make yourself a little platform there, of course. And for some reason, this is considered like a, uh, ooh, do I see a, a moon platform, maybe, on top of this, whatever this is? Or is this further away? I don't know if my depth perception is wrong. Can we try it? Can we boop, onto it? Nope, it would help if I didn't mess. Let's go ahead and grab a quick breath of air. Ooh. Okay. And try one more time. Right on top of it? No? Really? Hmm. Well, viewers in the business, that's what we like to call lame. Not cool. Let's try to grab the, the moon from this area. I don't know which one it's going to be. Okay, we're on the top side now. Looks like maybe if we want to... I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Whoop. Okay. Looks like we can sneak down to the lower section now if we do a little quick duck and shimmy. And I don't know, oops. We're doing great. We have since built that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. The ocean bottom maze. And that of course refills our heart. All right, I mean like I feel pretty good about not worrying about the coins and we're not too far from Dory. So we're gonna go ahead and do this and see if we can buy the outfit and we can go back to shore and try to fit in with the civilians around. Hello, we're coping during the crisis. Can you come out please? Can we talk? I'm sorry, all right. The resort hat. Nice straw hat. Very fashionable. Changing now, of course. 
I don't know. I think this is probably the one you want. Although that sailor outfit's very cute. Um, why wait? Good question. Um, I hope that it's. I hope that I grab the right one. If not, I'm gonna need to find 45 more coins, which is gonna take well 36 more coins. Good man. It's gonna take me a hot minute. So I don't. I mean, I, now that I've gotten into proper attire, um, it doesn't appear that. The regular Crazy Cap store is open for business yet, at least not that I saw. So instead, we're going to try to go back to shore. Oh, these guys are popping out of the out of the sand here. Is this a way down? Ooh, I can feel it vibrating. Oh, I can just kill him this way. I didn't know that. Can I go down here? I don't know. But these things are weirding me out. I don't like it. All right, well, just in case I do need to grab more of these coins, I will do so here. Stay away from me! And it does count them in total as what you have every time you get the coin, but then the full amount that you have on you, on person. See, I'm getting a little annoyed with these little, these little teasers little when I see shiny I get excited and I think give me the shiny hello can I help you I'm not fleet of foot and I could not outrun the danger this seems like another use for the sprint flower maybe we'll see we are getting close to time though so I'm gonna try to grab a little bit more here I might go for the um, you must have extraordinary timing. Also, who doesn't love a good Goomba in a pirate hat? Come on. Adorable. All right, let's go and see if the resort outfit is the one that I actually did need or if I completely goofed by doing this. I might have made a preemptive purchase and I shouldn't have. So we're going to go all the way over here and we're going to conclude the episode with this. So hopefully this does not take too long or I'm going to feel like a big old ding dong. Oh, wait, there's the crazy cat, the golden one. They were the ones that are a little traumatized because of the lack of beach volleyball. I wonder if I can just buy the, um, can I just buy the, the, yes, look at the mustache, it's beautiful. Yes, it sure is. That's a freebie, always make sure you get your freebies, your government handouts, you mooch. All right, here we go, Shoplin and Bub Lane. Mission accomplished, and then I think we shall at least be able to grab, if I did this correctly, which I maybe didn't. Oh yeah. I'm assuming that when the game has you do these little bonuses and it's talking about the outfit you wear, which is funny that it encourages it. I think that it's referring to the, um, probably the cheapest of the, of the outfits. What do I, okay. This feels pretty natural. A little hula dancing, a little cultural appropriation by Mario. Cappy is not about it though. It's like, Mario, what are you doing? Okay. Um, a relaxing dance. Is that all that that was? Huh. You gotta try to fit in, but I always wonder like when you go to places like this, like obviously this is not a real location. This is, of course, very fictional, but it makes me laugh a little bit to think of like how, um, I don't wanna be a stick in the mud when I say this, but how goofy some people look when they're like, oh yeah, look, I'm fitting in. And then you're probably just turning into a caricature for the locals. All right, let's do this quick bonus. I say this is something that's probably not going to be. Let's do this quick thing that's probably not gonna be quick. All right. I'm going to try to do it quickly just because... Oh, see, that sucks. Why would I want... Oh, it goes for the clouds. Ah. I'm going to try to do this quickly because I don't want this episode to meander. Trying to be mindful of everyone's time. Give them a nice little slice of Mario... Oops. Of Mario... Oops. Nice little slice of Mario Odyssey. 
on their 4th of July holiday weekend, which the 4th of July is not on the weekend. The 4th of July is on a Tuesday. So I want you to have something fun to watch while you're trying to avoid your families and potentially enjoy an introverted moment. That is something I can 100% relate to. All right, here we go. Let's get rid of these characters. This is probably gonna make it quick. Oops. Got straight nuked right there. A lot of coins. Not that I need them, of course, because I'm amazing. But you gotta follow through with the... Um, with the laser beams. Oof. No, no, no. Okay, oof. Oh, viewers, that was close. Not trying to bite the bullet here. Oh, and look, they trigger each other. I'm so triggered right now. Is there boomer light, lightning beams? All right, here we go. Oh, that was easy. Waiting in the cloud Z. Oh man, if I could just get one more, I feel like there's gotta be, there's something over there. All right, we're gonna go for it. Cause I promised well, I didn't promise, actually. Am I, am I, is my hat burnt? <laughs> I am clearly, I've been ignited. All right, I see something over here. All right, if I could just safely navigate to the bonus area. What is this? Yes, viewers, we've done it. I said I wasn't gonna do 10 moons, but I got 10 moons because I care about you guys, all right? Don't get it cross. Don't ever say that I don't try. Oops. If this would take me back to the rocket, that'd be so cool. All right, well, I mean, like, we can just leave this way, right? I mean, that counts. Hey. Whether you're in or you're out. And that feels pretty darn good, viewers. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey, and I'll catch you guys... Next time, have a good holiday. Keep it real. Bye.